So what is the SOAP request and SOAP response is probably what you are asking now. Well, SOAP is an acronym for Simple Object Access Protocol, and it's for communicating between the applications. So as you can see, if I want to communicate from the client to the server, I have to send the SOAP request. And what would the SOAP request contain? Well, now let me open up UFT so that I can show you guys what I'm talking about. So you can actually get a visual. Let me get UFT up and running. I got my taskbar on my other monitor so you guys don't see it, but I just launched UFT. It's a trial version. You guys can download it as well. I actually created an entire tutorial on how to download and install UFT. So if you missed that, go ahead and catch it. It's very useful. You can do it in under 10 minutes. So here is UFT. I'm going to open up a recent solution, which is here, QTP tutorial. And that's going to load all of my tests that are attached to that solution. Now, for you guys, I'm going to create a new test. So I'm going to add new test. And there's going to be an API test. Okay, let's call it API tutorial. I'm going to add it. And now here it is. Check it out, guys. There's a few things we'll go through it. But first, I wanted to show you guys what a SOAP request and a SOAP response looks like so that you get a visual and then I can explain things in a better manner.